hello hello and welcome to my channel while you are watching this and i will be watching the premiere with you i am hanging out in cincinnati at the 2021 cincinnati reseller rally that is where i will be while we are watching this so if you are at the reseller rally i look forward to meeting you tonight and hanging out with you with myself and kayla the homeschooling picker i am going to go ahead and finish up showing you guys our memorial day weekend sales so we had a total of almost eleven hundred dollars go out on ebay plus over four hundred dollars go out on mercari poshmark and facebook poshmark beat ebay on memorial day guys blew my mind that was the first time ever that poshmark has beaten ebay so I am going to show you the rest of the eBay sales I did not on Wednesday and I am going to show you those Poshmark sales that beat out eBay so let's get started. All right guys so we are going to pick up where we left off with the eBay sales and then we will get on to the other platform. First up, if you watch my Sunday video, you will see me pick up a lot of these magazines. So this is Handgun Buyer's Guide. I'll show you some of them, 2015. So I picked up four lots of magazines. This one was in a lot. I picked up 20 of them for $1. So like five cents into each. These sold in less than two days for $12 plus shipping it will make over a ten dollar profit on magazines so i have learned about magazines mainly from dom primetime treasure hunter so dom if you're watching this thank you so much if you find the right magazines and put them into a big enough lot so if you can get them for a nickel or a quarter save them up you can make really good money i have a couple of lots listed over fifty dollars out of lots that i paid a dollar for so those were the first ones to sell and hopefully you will be seeing more coming up up next these are some rose bavarian the cutout there is called reticulated so if you get plates like this that is a great keyword to use my video on sunday i am going to go over some keywords with you guys in a little more depth to help you guys increase your sales so these sold for $12 plus shipping and I'm like less than a dollar and so it'll be about an $8 profit but they've been around here for about a year so I'm happy to have them go up next db6 this db6 <laughs> I'll pop a picture up there db6 is Gurji and Henwin from the Black Cauldron Disney movie I paid dollar 30 for each of these so a little under three dollars they sold for 17.49 plus shipping in less than two weeks and we'll make about a 13 dollar profit if you see my niece is who listed these so she put db6 i will put these into another poly bag and they are good to go i actually got these poly bags from matt part-time picker over a year ago i bought like a thousand of them and they just like keep going and going so Thanks, Matt. Next is a DVD from a free box. So I find DVDs and free boxes at garage sales all the time when I go. This one is Phantom of the Opera. It is a silent DVD and it sold for $3 plus shipping. Whatever, it was free. We'll make about two bucks. So I'm not going to argue with free $2. And another $3 item. $3, $3, $3, $3 adds up. This is a cross stitch. It is called The Greeks. And it is like an alphabet for like the sorority and fraternity houses. This one sold for three plus shipping. I am only 50 cents and that's another $2 profit. I don't know if you hear pig meowing. I'm going to go see if it'll come in. So pig is our cat. Now oh, you can hear him. He just wants attention. I don't know if he will be quiet. We will see. Up they all next. hear you. They can see you. This is a gotcha shirt. I remember this brand from when I was in like middle high school. It's a cool Hawaiian like tropical hibiscus shirt. Had it about six months, but it sold for $36.74 plus shipping. I only paid a dollar for this. So this is about a $33 profit after fees. And I have had it six months, but I listed in winter. So 
sometimes you gotta wait a little while for spring and summer to come around for those Hawaiian shirts to really start selling good and they are really starting to pick up next are some more of the Vionics so I lowered the price to get these out I'm down to three pairs of the Vionics they sold for $22.99 free shipping but I only paid three bucks so we'll still make about an $8 profit and we only have a few pairs left so lowering the prices getting them out of my way and it made room and my inventory room for other stuff look say hi he just wants attention so he comes he meows to get in and then he meows to get out he just wants to be pet that's all he wants as soon as i put him down he's gonna fuss again aren't you it's a big old baby told you <laughs> up next this is a tooled montana silversmith like a sunglasses case and it did take about six months to sell but i got it for free from my friend pepper sold for 17 plus shipping we'll make about a 15 dollar profit after fees and i think i have one left so i had five and four of them have sold the tail so i think pig is worse than dog I'm taking a nap right now. Up next is this ladybug flag. So garden flags are selling great right now. We only have a few left in our store. This one sold for seven plus shipping the buyers 11 all in. We will make about a $5 profit. I bought these in a big closet lot. So I'm actually only pennies in and they're really easy to list front and back and you're done. I'm going to have to put Pig out. Because he's climbing all over my counter with my breakables. So, say bye, Pig. He just wants to be big. He's going outside. Up next, TV41. Another Disney plush. This is Pegasus from the movie Hercules. $1.30 in. Sold for $9 plus shipping. Maybe about $7 profit. Pop a picture up. So up next is an incredible incredible sale so i am excited to be having these sales again when i don't i'm like super bummed because i'm like i know what i'm doing why can i not make sales making sales again then i'm happy simple right you just need to make money to be happy not really but you know what i mean so this is a ceramic christmas tree if you guys do not new these guys are money so this one is only nine inches and it's just lit up i do have a 14 inch one back there sitting on my counter or my shelf i paid 38 dollars for these in online auction i honestly expected it to go up to a hundred i was prepared to pay a hundred this one sold for ninety dollars and 99 cents in less than six hours so i am twenty dollars into it twenty dollars in the big one which should hopefully sell for over 150 and i made a quick 60 dollars profit on that again less than six hours up next really fast this is a nice Disney plush. This is DB17, which is Simba's Pride. I'm gonna pop these up because you guys need to keep an eye out for these. So these are three Disney plushes, so I'm about $4 in, and they sold in under two weeks for $48 plus shipping. The buyer is actually $70 all in to these three plush. So Disney Simba's Pride plush, are selling a lot higher than just regular Disney Lion King. So keep an eye out for these guys. Again, they sold really fast and that's over a $40 profit. Those are going international. Up next, these are Crystal D Arc. D Arc Kids, RK. I I I don't know, sorry. Um these two sold or $31.84. I got these in Bile, so I only paid a dollar each for these. And this will be over a $25 profit, and they sold under a month. This is a little beach bag tote, just with some palm trees. Not name brand or anything. I got this actually with my 
Victoria's Secret bags that you might have seen me sell. So I'm a couple bucks in and sold for $8 plus shipping. That again is a case of a really lower value item coming in with lots that most of the items are worth more. And most of the time I'm going to list it because I'll take that $8 over giving it away and it doesn't take me much longer to list or ship that and that is not a breakable item. Wrapping up eBay before we get into Mercari Poshmark and Facebook. It's a really good sale as well. So this was from my last auction haul. This is a really cool gravel art. So I don't know if you guys saw the video where I picked it up. This is little tea tiny pebbles made into this really cool art. I actually have another one that is just the face, not on the frame. I think I'm under $5 into this. Sold for $69.99 plus shipping. The buyer's about $80 all in and we'll make over a $60 profit on this. And it's sold in less than two weeks. Let's move on. This one is going to be, I believe, Facebook Marketplace. This is DB49, AKA Rabbit from Winnie the Pooh. This lady, and I think I've told you guys, I don't accept offers on Facebook Marketplace. Sometimes if people write me with like an acceptable offer, I will change the price for them. But the actual make an offer feature is not on, on my Facebook Marketplace shipping. So I had just listed this for 15. The lady messaged me and said, will you take 10? I told her, no, thank you. This has only been listed for a day. And she said, well, what would you take? And I said, well, I'm not taking offers. I have it at 15 right now. Thank you. And she put, okay, dot, 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 dot. Two minutes later, she bought it. And my price was pretty spot on. He sold for 15 and we will make about a $12 profit on half next. I did not make a bad buy here, guys. I paid $150 for 130 of these. DB23 is a Minnie Mouse a Aquamarine Birthstone. She sold for $10, so she will be about an $8 profit. I believe I have gotten my $150 back on those, and I have over 30 lots. A scattered worries. This was in a auction lot, and this one sold for a whole six bucks. I think I only paid a dollar though. <laughs> Four dollar profit not really too impressive um, next are some coca-cola bears crazy thing about these bears is they were listed on my ebay for over two years mom cross posts on the facebook marketplace they sell in a day they only sold for seven dollars but i bought these in a lot with like over 100 beanie babies two years ago the beanie babies i think are all gone but maybe three or four and I have like two more sets of these coca-cola bears left so they sold for seven I'm less than a dollar and it'll be about a five dollar profit again not gonna break throw them into a poly and they are good to go. this is a DVD this is all of the Benjamins this one's sold on Facebook marketplace for five we will make about a four dollar profit next is this Johnson Brothers saucer there is your really pretty all over pattern and this one sold for six dollars over on facebook marketplace up next is some ephemera this is a britain london map and this one sold over on facebook marketplace for ten dollars so we'll make about an eight dollar profit on that so the ephemera is selling i've sold it on poshmark mercari ebay and facebook it's selling everywhere so no matter what platform you're selling on i would keep an eye out for ephemera Okay, last video, I promise you a major polo and it is going to be coming up right now. I had some decorative plates in, in this frame. So it like, I'll, I'll kind of show you what it looks like. Kind of look like that. So I looked up the plates and the plates were worth maybe $10 each. I had five of them. Um, so I have four more of these. And I was gonna list them inside of this frame. And then I saw how nice that name looked. So, these are Van Hygen and Smythe. This is for an eight inch plate. It is just a frame. So it's got these little things that come down and hold the frame or the plate into place to hang on the wall. 
These things sell for up to $30 each, guys. Plus shipping. Plus shipping for a plate frame. <laughs> I like message. <laughs> Jocelyn Crazy Lamp Lady, I messaged Kayla the homeschooling picker. I'm like, a plate frame. Plate frame. <laughs> like, how crazy is this? So. I cross posted five of these myself because mom was having issues cross posting to more car to Facebook. So I used these as my tester. They were the last thing I had listed. They sold on Mercari in less than five minutes for a hundred dollars for five of these hundred bucks plus shipping. So keep your eye out. I don't know if there are other brands, but Van Hygen and Smythe. If you see cheap collector's plates and they're in these frames, them up you never know what will sell i'm really happy that i decided to look it up because it looked nice so sometimes you gotta take stuff apart to make money up next is another of the new shirts we got this is a guy harvey manatee shirt and this one sold in less than a day for ten dollars over on mercari plus shipping and we'll make about a seven dollar max <laughs> and theme if you're watching this thank you i was gonna leave these so these are two little square i thought they were just like blocks but apparently they're vases they are southern living vases so remember what that looks like and i was gonna leave them for theney to donate them when i did the garage sale buyout she's like are you sure because i paid a lot of money for those and i'm like what those two sold in less than a day on Mercari for $25 plus shipping. I only paid about $2 in the buyout, so those are over a $20 profit. Here we go again. Stuff listed on eBay for years. Doesn't sell. Cross post it. This time on Mercari. This little ring sold for $9 bucks plus shipping. I have to drop something every video. I didn't last video though. $9 plus shipping will make about an $8 profit. I was pennies into that and then jewelry. I don't know what this is. I just printed these. It says black comb. I'm gonna have to figure that out. So whatever that is, you're not seeing it. All right, now I'm going to show you the three Poshmark items that beat out eBay. And eBay was slow today, okay? It was at like $160. So our busy days were Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today, which is Monday, were slow. But three items on Poshmark. I remember what black comb was. Black comb is a little pen that sold for $11. Thought I was losing my mind. I'm like, I just printed these. I know I pulled this item what is it that's what it is so let me get this first item the first item is this heavy typewriter i just picked this up in my auction lot if you watch my auction haul video for 11 dollars, it sold for 50 dollars in one day doesn't have a cord but it takes a standard cord so hopefully they're not mad at that but 40 dollar profit pretty fast well 35 after fees and then on Poshmark. This is a coach purse. I actually bought this in a charity YouTube auction to support my friend Danny's um, Adventures. I think it's Adventures with Danny. No, I can't remember her name. She hasn't put out videos in a while. But I put this out to support her. I, I bought it and I thought I might use it, but that was a joke because I'm not a purse person. It matches with my hair though. Um, <laughs> I don't carry a purse. The only time I carry anything like a purse is when I go into work and I carry a backpack or a purse that has my work crap in it. Um, so I'm not a purse carrier. So I never use this. It is a brand new coach purse. It's sold for $65 plus shipping, which is about what I paid. So not profit there, but I helped out a friend in that online auction. And I do want to say that purse unfortunately was not listed on ebay so when i went to pull it down from ebay when it sold on posh somebody bought that and didn't pay so keep an eye out guys because i think now with their new five day cancellation thing your items that don't get paid for are not automatically being relisted and that's what happened with that one so i had a 70 dollar purse sitting in my inventory that was never relisted because a buyer bought it and never paid so keep an eye out for that sold in less than a day over on poshmark so i called these oakley's when i did my haul video with these are under armor glasses and they are 
pretty cool. I'm not going to take them out, but they were from the Wounded Warrior Project. They are new. They have the yellow, they have the gray, and then they also have the clear lenses in them. And this buyer on Poshmark, right after my mom cross posted it, within about an hour, offered me $65. And I had them listed at $91. So I countered them at $85 because it had just been listed and they came back at 65 again. So I declined. So then they came up to 75 and I declined again. And then they came at 76 and I declined again. It's like this cat and mouse game. And then they offered me $80. I paid, I think $70 for those Under Armour as well as some um, Smith Optics uh, ballistics glasses that should sell for over a hundred dollars so I accepted their eighty dollars game of cat and mouse was over and Poshmark beat eBay for the first time ever so I do appreciate you guys watching again if we are in Cincinnati together I hope we meet each other and have a fun time hanging out if not hopefully you guys can come to the next reseller rally and hang out at that I don't know when or where or if I'll go but Maybe I will. We'll see how Cincinnati goes. I am sure I'm having a blast meeting a lot of you that are watching this now. I know a ton of people are coming. I am going to be staying with my good friend Kayla. So that will be a fun time. We're going to go out sourcing. And yeah, so I will have another video out for you guys on Sunday with keywords and how to improve your sales. I hope you have a wonderful weekend wherever you are. And I will see you on the next one. Bye guys. The dinosaur. Yeah. Let me see it. But it's so when depression sets you back, keep moving forward. Talk to your doctor about it. But it closed.